The zoo and campaign maps are fantastic tools Valve software include with their SDK. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to access these files, their general purpose, and how to more easily view the original campaign maps if you wish to see how Valve software made them. Let's go to File, Open, and go down to Zoo. And let's check out Zoo Urban 01 first. In Zoo Urban, Valve software has included numerous props, textures, decals, and brushes that mimic the artistic direction that have been placed in their city maps. This is a fantastic tool to use if you feel a little lost on how to create this sort of environment or you need a little help. Let's check out the car. Let's double click on it. And as you can see, it's already set up as a prop static, and it has the corresponding glass with it. And he, right here, you can just grab the, the texture which Valve Software uses for their roads. You can also grab some of the textures they use for their various buildings. And uh, here are some of the sign props which they use, which are, again are already set up as static props and even some of the effects such as the smoke coming out of the manholes. Behind the initial props is a scene utilizing the materials of the zoo. As you can see, you can quickly create an interesting and detailed scene using nothing more than the components of the zoo. Okay, let's check out the rural version. Zoo Rural 01. Zoo Rural is slightly different. It has less props, however, it continues to utilize them in a way that's easy to develop and to review. Various props and trees are placed to give the developer a feeling of the rural world of Left 4 Dead. While it's possible to make a map utilizing the zoo components in neither map, it's generally a poor idea to do so. Instead, it's important to use these tools as an aid to detailing your own custom map. You can see here some of the interior areas. Now let's review the official file of maps. Go to File, Open. Now let's go back to the main folder and you can see how it has Blood Harvest, Dead Air, Death Toll, and No Mercy already in folders. If you double click them as you can see, maps 1 through 5 are already detailed, so let's open up Farm 01, which is the first map of Blood Harvest. Each of these maps utilize a lot of tool brushes, which can obstruct the view of the player, and generally make it difficult to find places on the maps. To begin, let's start off the Viz groups. You can see when you open up the viz groups, you can just turn off auto and it turns off all the brushwork. If you do no draw, it turns off the displacements. So let's start by turning off all the tool brushes, going down to entities, and turning off the brush entities too. As you can see, it's a lot easier to view the different portions of the map and to find the player start. And as you can see, I can zoom around the map and you can basically see all of map 1. Alright, so let's find the player start, which is right here. All of the corresponding entities to start the map can be found at the player start. You can use this quick and easy method to discover how something was done in the map. You can also use this system to easily copy and paste the designated entities for your own custom campaign which is an easy way of beginning your maps the same way Valve Software started theirs. Now let's take a moment to review some of the unique entities that are used to make custom Left 4 Dead campaigns.